Welcome to Turf Tips. Hi, I'm Rick Orr, and today's subject is soil and health. While studying agriculture at Virginia Tech, I was assigned the book Soil and Health by Sir Albert Howard, who many regard as the father of organic gardening. In his book, Soil and Health, Sir Howard links human health and the soil. Healthy soils equal healthy people. The book was fascinating to me, and even today, some 30 years later, I'm still applying principles set forth by Sir Howard in my lawn spraying business. A strange relationship, I know, organic gardening and lawn spraying, but I'm convinced from healthy soils we receive healthy turf, and from healthy turf we get healthier environments, and healthier environments mean healthier people. One thing I learned from Sir Howard, dirt is something you sweep up in the kitchen. A soil is much more than dirt. It's a thriving, living community of bugs, fungus, and single-cell microbes. When the soil is alive and thriving, the soil is a biological filter processing water, minerals, and organic matter into earth-friendly compounds. The process is called composting. It's the enzymatic digestion of minerals and organic matter that produces plant food. Many people believe that modern fertilizers feed the plants, but in, it actually fuels the living soil, which composts the modern fertilizer into plant food. Most people are familiar with composting as a way to recycle organic matter. You know, the leaves and other household waste that are piled in the corner of the yard or put in some rotating bin to go organic. Sir Howard realized that composting was happening in the soil and was necessary for healthy soils. And healthy soils were necessary for healthy people. From his observation, Sir Howard introduced the concept of sheet composting, the process by which soils, especially pastures, compost in a thin layer. The textbook example of sheet composting is a lawn. A lawn sheet compost 24-7 efficiently turning minerals and organic matter into plant food, neutralizing toxins, and filtering the air we breathe. Your lawn becomes a pollution filter surrounding your home. The process begins with dust and pollen and pollution and debris being captured and trapped into the turf canopy. Then, with adequate moisture and temperature, the living soil starts enzymatic digestion, converting the dust, pollen, pollution, and debris into organic food for your lawn and releasing purified water and oxygen into the environment. I believe that is why so many people are drawn to and comforted by homes surrounded by lush green lawns. They instinctively know it is good for the body and the soul. Is lawn spraying harmful to composting? The short answer is no. The organic purist will only use natural products to compost. But the truth is, composting is a biological function of the right mix of organic matter and nutrients at the right temperature and moisture, regardless of the origin. A single cell organism cannot read. Therefore, it does not know that a drop of nitrogen from a modern fertilizer is not organic. It just sees food. But only healthy soils compost. And to keep Pinellas County sandy soils healthy, supplemental water and nutrients are needed to sustain the composting process. But when the soil is allowed to become bone dry or is missing some necessary nutrients, the composting process stops and all is washed away with the first rain. What remains is a hot, dry, barren soil that's the opposite of a composting healthy soil. We must all do our part. Sad but true, the Pinellas County water restrictions and the fertilizer bans will allow our soils to become bone dry and to lack the necessary nutrients to sustain a healthy composting soil. Sir Howard was correct that health and the soil are directly linked and the decline of our soils in Pinellas County and the decline of our lawns will negatively affect the health and welfare of us all. Therefore, let us all do our part to keep our lawns and our soils healthy by watering every chance possible, using a supplement like hydrotain to keep the soil moist, and fertilize frequently but lightly whenever we can to reduce the impact of the fertilizer bans. Good soil is good health. God bless.